Bishop Gustavo Sanqueta, spokesperson at Casa Santa Marta, where he is now, denies the existence of an international capture order against the bishop. Sanqueta, charged with sexual abuse, assures it is a simple petition from the district attorney of Salta. The petition accuses him of alleged defiance for not having responded to phone calls or emails. The bishop argues that no communication has been delivered, neither to his residence nor his email. Sanqueta is confused by the district attorney's accusation of defiance, since he claims he has always collaborated with authorities. In the announcement, the bishop explains he is the first person who wants to see the whole truth revealed and thus have his good name and reputation cleared. That is why he shows he is willing to cooperate with justice authorities and the prosecutor's office. In 2017, Gustavo Sanqueta, bishop of Oran, Argentina, left his position on account of health issues. At the end of that year, Pope Francis named him consultant of the APSA, the administrative body in charge of the Holy See's patrimony. Later, in 2019, he was accused of sexually abusing seminarians. He was also charged with not having correctly managed the funds of the Diocese of Oran. Sanqueta was discharged, and the Pope authorized a canonical trial against him. At the same time, the bishop faced prosecution from Argentina's justice system. After traveling to his country to stand before the judges, he was allowed to return to the Vatican in August. Rome Reports is now available on your TV. Thanks to our new app, Rome Reports Premium, you can watch exclusive content, documentaries, special reports, analysis, and more. You'll be able to access Rome's most recent news, now in HD and without commercials. Download the Rome Reports app in English or in Spanish. It's available on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, and Android TV.